Hello witches and wizards, welcome back to Cooper's Charms. Today I thought we could go over all of the spells that you might have to cast in Wizards Unite. There are 14 spells, technically 15, but I figured we'd go through each one of them, talk about what they do, and then when you might need to use them in Wizards Unite. If you'd like to see a full list of them, you can head over to Wizards Unite Hub. They will have all of the traces as well as a description of each one of them. All right, first of all, we have Accio. Some people say Axio, I say Accio. So, Accio, it is a summoning charm. So you cast Accio, and then whatever you are summoning will come to you. In Wizards Unite, you may see this as you encounter an inn. You will have to trace a glyph at the bottom of the inn, and a dish will be presented to you, and depending on what that dish is, you'll get a certain amount of spell energy. Next up we have Aguamenti. Aguamenti is a water charm. When you cast it, a stream of clean and drinkable water will be produced. When might you have to use this charm? Well, you may have to use it to put out a fire. Quite literally. Some foundables have fire galore. For example, this one here, lots of fire. You're gonna need to extinguish that to release that back to the wizarding world. Next up we have Alohomora. Probably a very familiar spell. It is the unlocking charm. This unlocking charm will unlock doors, windows, pretty much whatever can be unlocked. In Wizards Unite, you may encounter a foundable that is locked up via ball and chain, and you will have to perform Aloha Mora and release that foundable from that ball and chain. Then we have Arresto Momentum. Arresto Momentum is a slowing charm, so it will slow down whatever your target is. In Wizards Unite, you may have to slow down something like those pesky pixies. Then we have Bombarda. Bombarda is an exploding charm, so it will create a small explosion at whatever your target is. In Wizards Unite, you may have to use this to free a foundable that is trapped within a confoundable, as in this guy over here. Next we have a very general offensive spell. I've noticed that there's a couple different ones. We'll just kind of cycle through them here, but you will need to use these combat spells when facing foes in fortresses and with oddities. This next spell is not really on Wizards Unite Hub, probably because it's such an easy spell to cast, but it is an important spell, and that is Protego. Protego is a protecting charm, so when your foe is attacking you, you cast Protego, and you will take no damage or less damage. Next up we have Defendo. Defendo is a severing charm. I believe one of the very first foundables that you encounter is Hagrid, and Hagrid is trapped by this web. You cast Defendo and you cut him right out of that web and free him to go back to the wizarding world. This next spell is probably one that not many people know. I didn't know about it until Wizards Unite, to be completely honest, and that is Ibublio, Ibublio, Ibublio. I hope I'm saying that right. But this spell will trap your target into an impenetrable bubble. Kind of a nifty spell. And then we have a spell that is probably one of the most iconic spells in the Harry Potter wizarding world, and that is Expecto Patronum. Expecto Patronum is an offensive spell against Dementors, probably one of the only offensive spells against Dementors, and it's a highly advanced spell. Now, if you encounter a spell that is undesirable and that you would like to reverse, you may cast this next spell, and that is Finite. Finite's long version is Finite Incantartum, but I'm pretty sure that in the game it's just Finite, so we'll just call it Finite. But, like with this confoundable over here, we have a student that's been turned into a ferret. Not necessarily a desirable outcome of that spell. I'm sure it was desirable to whoever cast it, but nonetheless, we need to reverse that, so we would cast Finite. Next we have Flipendo. Flipendo is a knockback jinx, so if you are encountering a foe or opponent of any kind, you may cast uh, Flipendo to knock them backwards and literally knock them on their feet. 
Next up is Incendio, but make sure you use this one wisely because it starts fires. When would you have to start a fire in Wizards Unite? Well, there might be two different reasons that I've been able to find. One is just as a general offensive spell, and two, you may have to break somebody out of some ice. If you remember in Hogwarts Mystery, uh, some of your friends get trapped into cursed ice, and you have to cast Incendio to free them. It's the same concept here. This next charm is very similar to Finite in the way that it is a counter charm to an undesirable charm or jinx. This one, however, is specifically to weather changing charms. This charm is Mediolo Jinx Recanto. This will undo any weather changing charm. For example, with this confoundable over here, we have a baby hippogriff that has been caught in some kind of vortex or tornado something weather related. You cast Mediolo Jinx Recanto and you reverse that weather related charm. And last but certainly not least, we have Ridiculous, which is probably one of the next most recognizable spells from the Harry Potter world. This is a defensive spell against Bogarts. What are Bogarts? Bogarts transform into literally your worst nightmare. How do you counteract that? Will you cast Ridiculous and imagine something Quite literally ridiculous. This usually causes people to laugh at the Bogart, which causes it to retreat back to where it came from. So now that you know all of the spells, you can then head over to Wizards Unite World and practice them on their website. Why might you want to practice these spells? Well, the quicker and more accurately you cast a spell, the more likely you'll overpower a confoundable. There is a chance that a confoundable will resist you and or possibly even flee from you. If you'd like to practice these spells, the link will be in the description box below. And lastly, I'd like to shout out three channels that I found these clips to provide examples for each spell. Those channels are Alola Hardout, I hope I said that correctly, Wizard Tips, and Zoe Two Dots. If you'd like to see more examples of confoundables and the spells that you would need to overcome them, you can visit the links in the description box below for those channels and watch more of their videos. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you liked this video, please make sure to leave it a thumbs up on there and drop a comment down below. I really do appreciate it. And if you'd like to know the next time that I upload a video, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification as well. Thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Knox.